image. How about that? So what if we do this? What if we do image source and then we just write it out? We'll write that out right there. So how can we take this memory stream and turn it into something we can display uh, knowing that we've read the file and then we're able to rewrite it? Um, we could use a data URI. So we could say source data uh, something something uh, right here, right? So we could, we could use, whoops, I put date. So data URI uh, would actually let us do this. So it'd be something like data image. Um, it'd be the file type. I think I'm grabbing a JPEG that's off my desktop. Yeah, it's just my avatar that I use on social media and stuff. So it'd be JPEG. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's see. Uh, data image URI. Let's just look at the schema for this real quick. So it is data colon image slash image type base 64 and then comma the data. And then that's it. So it's going to be colon uh, base 64 and then comma and then we need to write the data there so let's see we need to get the data from the file and plug it into this spot let's go ahead and pull that out we'll replace this with a variable um, <clears throat> let's say uh, image data there and then we can set up a placeholder or a field here image data it's going to actually be a string in this in this case so data uris are just string representations of the data so we'll say string equals image data uh, let's just set that to nothing let's do uh, string empty so we'll start with an empty string just in case we don't we want to bind nothing there just so it doesn't show up <clears throat> and then uh, in our memory stream uh, we'll take that data and parse it together with uh, with this so let me actually comment that so we want to append our data to this guy here Uh, so we could say image data equals, um, we'll use string interpolation, right? And then we'll go ahead, go ahead and grab this right here. Oops, don't want that comment anymore. And then inside of here, we'll go some sort of variable or some sort of data. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Uh, we're going to have to do a conversion here. So we'll say convert. We're going to have to convert this data that's coming out of the file uh, stream. Uh, the memory stream has a to array function. Uh, we're going to need to convert that to a base64 string. Sounds about right. And then uh, we'll say memory stream dot to array so to base 64 string takes an array of bytes and converts that to a string representation which then we will concatenate to our data uri which will bind to this image source here and i believe this is outside of the normal operations for blazor so just as a safety we'll we'll remove it later to see if that's it's necessary or not but we'll say state has changed to instruct blazor to repaint this uh component 
Let's give that a try. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the button <clears throat> on our fetch data page. We're gonna click choose file and go back to my desktop and grab this one. When I click this file, ah, there we go. We got it. We got our file read finally. So <clears throat> we're, we're actually making something work. Uh, we have data from the file upload. Now we can hit the ground running. Now we can do stuff with the with this image. We can send this image to Azure Cognitive Services. So this is a big first step in the right direction. Uh, we're able to take a file input on the page and get data out of it. Uh, so that's <clears throat> that's the first hurdle we have to overcome, and we've done it. So. Just a little recap. We've got an input button on our page, or input uh, HTML input element on our page. It's of a file type. Uh, we've created a reference to it so we can uh, reference it from a JavaScript library that's been abstracted away for us. Uh, and we're calling the onChange event. So when the file is selected, we're handling an event. When that file upload happens, uh, we actually don't need these arguments anymore. We're not using those. We'll kill some dead code. Um, we'll try turning this back into a task here in a moment. But we're saying uh, async, uh, we're going to read the files out of <clears throat> this input. And then using this memory stream, we're going to take the memory stream and get the byte array inside the memory stream. Uh, thank you, Super Sniper. Uh, big thanks there. Um, thanks for supporting the stream. I still don't know what exactly I'm going to do with that support, but uh, I'm sure it will go back into the show for better uh, equipment and uh, stuff to make.